In this video, I will show you how to fix the Roblox error code 529. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are on roblox.com. Now there's a couple of things you can try. Now the first thing I'm gonna say is to actually check your internet connection. I know you've probably checked this, but it's always worth checking this first of all, just to make sure there's no problems with your actual internet connection. So try visiting a few websites and try to disconnect and reconnect your internet and also try turning your computer off and on again. If that's okay and your internet connection is absolutely fine, then the next thing I would recommend is if you actually come to a website, which is actually called status.roblox.com. So you just wanna type that into the address bar like so. And on here, you'll be able to check if there's actually any problems with the Roblox servers. So if you just scroll up and down, you're gonna see if there's any problems with the servers. As you can see at the moment, all systems are operational. There's currently no faults. And this was updated a few seconds ago. If there are any problems, then it's just a case of giving it sort of 20 to 30 minutes, checking on here again, and just keep, keep an eye out on this website to find out when these servers are back up and running. Next, what you can do if the servers are all operational and is and there's no problems is you can actually try logging out and back into your account so what you want to do is just come to roblox.com log out of course remember what your password is and then log back into your account once you've logged back in just go ahead and select any game and that should ho hopefully resolve the error 529 the final thing it could be is if it is a particular game that you're trying to play and you keep experiencing this error it could just be a problem with the game server itself so for example Say I wanted to play something like Evade and I was getting the error 529, then I would try different games and if they're working, then we know it's just a problem with the game server itself. So again, if that's the case, just give it sort of 20 to 30 minutes, try again and fingers crossed you should be able to get back in. So that's a couple of things you can try and I hope this tutorial did help you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you were to drop down below the video, leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.